Welcome into another edition of AZ Audibles. I am Eric Sorensen. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and doing well. This week, we are pleased to be joined by Chandler head football coach Rick Gerritsen, who joins us via Zoom. Coach G, it's good to see you. How are you? It's good to see you, you know, trying to keep in contact with everybody. I know you and I have talked, you know, a few times uh, through the telephone and, and by text messaging with some some questions you've got in, in regards to certain things that are going on in the football world, but it's uh, it's good to see you. In terms of the the new normal that is the virtual spring, how has that been going for you and your staff at Chandler? Well, I think you know we we've really paid attention to trying to keep things as if they were happening in school. So uh, you know our obviously our weight training we can't get together with the kids, uh, but we do have uh, every two weeks we have um, a, a new regiment. You know, with weights if they have them, without weights if they have them, that uh, we want them to follow through with, uh, you know, until the time we come together and get into our, into our new facility. Last year, an incredible run, 13-0. and 0. Um, You won the first ever Open Division Championship. As you've had some time to reflect on last season, what's going to be your biggest takeaway as a coach since it was your first year as head coach with the Bulls? Well, you know, it, 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 was, a, it was a great ride. Uh, we all enjoyed the the Super 8 format, you know, with the uh, you know with the playoff format. Uh, I've been through this with 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 the staff and all of our other championships when Sean was on board as the head guy. So things weren't really much different in in that sense. Uh, you know, you're focused in, you're trying to do your job and get the kids in position to to have success. And of course, with the senior leadership that we had last year, uh, you know, led us down the path and you know having some success and and ultimately winning the thing. And I mean, that's the goal at Chandler. If you were to describe your program, Coach G, to someone who has never seen the Chandler Wolves, how would you describe it? It's interesting you say that because I've had a, I've been on a few shows in the country, you know, that want to know about the Makoa culture and and the Ohana culture and, and what we do at Chandler. I mean, it's just a format of uh, you know doing the right thing all the time, you know, whether uh, that's on the field or off the field. Uh, we build up a culture of competition. You. You have to be one, able to want to come compete to play at Chandler. T.J. Green was a fourth-string running back his junior year and, and, and got the opportunity when Chase got hurt and made, uh, you know, his big imprint in, in the program. So, you know, it's, it's about competition. Eli Sanders, I think, is ready to fill in and, and take over that, the bulk of the carries. You have a stable of running backs. But in terms of Eli, is he on pace to maybe put up the same kind of numbers that Day Day did last fall? Well, you know, I think anytime you, you have, you know, a great offensive line and a great offensive line coach like we do with Chris Chick, the run, that run game is going to be in place. We're not giving the ball to, to Eli or Day Day or TJ Green or, or to Carlos, you know, 40 times a game. Uh, they're getting probably somewhere between 16 to 20 touches. You know, the, the number two backs in to get his touches. And Eli did a great job because it's, it's not easy. You had to sit out five games, you know, to kind of bide your time with that. And then when he got his opportunity, I think he rushed for just under 200 against Perry in his first game. And uh, he brings a lot to the table, catches the ball well. You know, he's put on, he's put on weight as well. He's up to about 195 now. He's, uh, he's a threat anywhere on the, on the field from, you know, from the backfield or as a, uh, as a receiver. And, you know, again, you know, the college coaches, uh, you know, like his film is phenomenal. I appreciate the time as always, Coach. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. That's Chandler head coach Rick Gerritsen, this week's guest on AZ Audibles. Make sure you keep it right here to Sports 360 AZ for all your latest high school football news.